Shabbat Shalom, family in Messiah Yeshua. Shabbat Shalom to the worldwide YouTube and social media community. This is your beloved brother Shaul Yisrael coming back again for another Shabbat Eve message by the leading of Yahweh's Spirit. I'll be reading from first epistle of Peter. I read be reading from first, uh, first Peter chapter two, starting at verse eleven, and I read, "Dearly beloved, dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly desires, rewards, and so." Verse twelve, having your conversation honest among the Gentiles, that whereas they speak against you as evildoers, they may by your good works which they shall behold. Exalt Yahweh in the day of visitation. Let me read again. First Peter chapter two, verse eleven. First Peter chapter two, verse eleven. Dearly beloved, dearly, dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly desires of worldly soul. Have your conversation on among the Gentiles, that whereas they speak against you as evil the word, they may by your good work which they shall behold, exalt Yahweh in the day of visitation. Abba Yahweh commands us by us, those who have been reconciled unto Yahweh, those who have obeyed Acts 38, who have taken on the nature and spirit of Messiah Yeshua by water baptism in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach for the pardon of sins and for the regeneration of one's soul and have received the baptism of the Holy Spirit as evident by speaking in another tongue and Yahweh permits you to speak. Abba Yahweh commands us to live as strangers and pilgrims. We're commanded of Yahweh. Uh, uh, we, 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 he has ordained that we live as strangers and pilgrims. We are commanded to live as strangers and pilgrims. That we're commanded to do, to live as strangers and pilgrims. Because we seek for a better country. The land of Canaan, the promised land, the restoration of our nation, Israel. We seek for the kingdom of Yahweh to come that will be implemented at the second coming of our King Yeshua HaMashiach. We, 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 we are strangers. We, 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 we're pilgrims. We, we're seeking for a country. This, uh, this world system is not our home. We seek for our home at this, that we, we will see at the second coming of our King Yeshua HaMashiach that we seek for. It's even more relevant uh, come July 4th with, with this, this Shabbat day. Uh, July 4th has nothing to do with the Yisraelite, the true Yisraelite. Uh, I recommend you be um, listen to uh, Frederick Doug Douglass's speech um, What to the Slave is 4th of July 4th of July was never about the liberation of the black man the black woman or the so called African American who is the Israelite so family we are to live as strangers and pilgrims, meaning uh, we should seek to perform the will of Abba Yahweh. And to perform the will of Abba Yahweh requires us to be faithfully obedient to the word of Yahweh, to the instructions of Yahweh. As is written again, all scriptures given by inspiration of Yahweh. As profitable, is beneficial for doctrine, for correction, for reproof for instruction what's right 
as strangers to the pilgrims, we are to deny our fleshly will that opposes the will of Yahweh. And we are to conform our lives to the will and the word of Yahweh. As it's written again in Colossians chapter 3, if you're, if you're risen with Messiah Yeshua, our pursuit should be the will of Yahweh. Our pursuit is to do Yahweh's will, to conform our lives to the will of Yahweh. We're not to be entangled in the affairs of this life. So this is serving the, the pagan customs of this world system since 4th of July and and Labor Day and, and Mother's Day and Father's Day and Christmas and Easter. Um, such things that are not certified by the scripture. Our Yahweh commands us to live as strangers and pilgrims. So what he commands us to do? To live as strangers and pilgrims. Our Yahweh commands us to live as strangers and pilgrims, man. That means uh, we are to take seriously the admonition of our beloved brother Shaul of Tarsus to the seven ones look at the look at Rome. In Romans chapter 12, I beseech you by the brethren by the mercy of Yahweh that you present your body the living sacrifice, set apart and acceptable unto Yahweh with your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So we are to conform ourselves, we are to pattern ourselves according to the scripture, after the example of our Messiah Yeshua HaMashiach. As strangers and pilgrims, we are to live set apart in this world. We are in expectation of the first resurrection. When those who qualify for it by the new birth according to Acts 38 will have a more sure hope of receiving. I beseech whosoever will. Those who have been born again according to Acts 38 live as strangers and pilgrims. Don't be entangled by the affairs of life. Live as strangers and pilgrims, family. I pray that whosoever will, let them come. I exhort those who do not know y'all, who have not been converted, to consider repentance and what a baptism in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach for the pardon of your sins and for the regeneration of your soul. Consider Receiving the baptism of the Holy Spirit as evident by speaking in another tongue, and Yahweh permits you to speak. We are in the end time, family. Time to prepare your soul for what's to come. Prepare your soul. I thank Abba Yahweh for allowing me, his servant, to come. Once again, with another Yahweh inspired message. I give him the glory, honor, and praise for the wisdom and the ability to speak for what he has moved me to speak. In the name of his beloved son, Yeshua HaMashiach, so be it, so be it. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom.